You know, I didn't take the chance to uh, to congratulate you on your Emmy. Oh, thank you very much. I wish we could take a selfie right now, but we weren't allowed to bring our I know. Our they told us we're not allowed to bring our phones, so we just want our managers to know we were tweeting and Facebooking <laughs> and trying to Instagram, but we weren't allowed to. Okay. And live streaming. <laughs> yes. All right. In a region known as one of the nation's top economic markets, these programs provide much-needed financial literacy to the public. And the nominees for Business Consumer Report Series are... Cradle Rot, WMAQ, Queen of Diamonds, WITI, Parking Meter Problem, WITI. And the Emmy goes to Parking Meter Problem, WITI. We found meter after meter. It's a shame that nobody's clearing them out. Peeking out from the piles on St. Paul, on Chicago. Now here's a good example of what we're talking about. We're on Jefferson Street, Third Ward. This meter is just within arm's reach for me, and I'm 6'2", but the problem is the coins have to go in on the other side. Well, come on over here and take a look at that. To put coins in this meter, you basically have to climb a, a mountain. Would you want your grandma to have to do that? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Uh, you know what? Surprisingly, because they won half the awards here tonight, nobody came up from WITI, so we will proudly we'll accept this, this award. <laughs> Thank you very much on their behalf. All right. Crime reporters often have the difficult task of providing information in an unbiased manner while keeping public safety as their primary concern. And these reports exemplify work at the top of the profession. The nominees for Crime Report series are... An Innocent Man, WITI. For the Love of Money, WITI. Human Trafficking, WITI. What's Going On in Your School, WMAQ. Who's Buying Sex, WMAQ. <laughs> Know. Who is buying I it? I want to know. Okay. <laughs> All right, and the Emmy goes to For the Love of Money, W-I-T-I. -I. August 6, 2013, Tuesday, 11.26 a.m., Greendale, Wisconsin. A man with a gun enters PNC Bank. He throws a backpack at a teller behind the counter. Are you serious? Yeah, we're serious. He tells the woman not to look at him. She empties her drawer. It's your son, yeah? While he waits, he points his gun at everyone in the bank, frozen with fear. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't have any idea? Mind your own business. Mind your own business, okay? It only took 30 seconds. Wow, um, so I've been called the Susan Lucci of Emmys. <laughs> um, but this is, I, I won, and I'm, I work with somebody, the chief investigative reporter at WITI in Milwaukee with me, Brian Polson, has been my mentor, my friend. It is not journalism uh, as you would normally think about it. He is my, he is my rock, and I, this is for him. Um, it's also for my fiance, Eric Buck. We're getting married in 42 days, not that anyone's counting. Also, this is way more fun than being a lawyer. I changed careers after my mom passed away two and a half years ago, three years ago. Um, and so thank you, journalism. Also, I have the best editors and photographers in the Midwest. Sorry, Chicago, but it's true. Um, I could just put crap on paper and they would make it look awesome. He's right here, Andy Conkle. So they're awesome. Thank you.